and welcome to another episode of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Yes. Razan, how are you? Hi. Very good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, to today's you. another special recipe. You know what it is? Let's show everybody. <laughs> Long time we haven't seen this guy, lionfish. Lionfish. Yes. It's all over Florida. Very evasive. They don't have any natural predators, so the best way is to eat them. People just catch them and kill them, and now they're trying to, you know, a lot of trying to get the restaurants to serve them. So we're doing a very special dish here. Yeah. Actually, this one, if it is a very, very fresh sashimi. You sashimi, to oh yes. Sashimi or sushi. So good. White, white, white meats. Ah, so, so good, this, this meat. Well, we'll open it up no. and we'll take a look and see sure, how fresh sure, it is. Sure. Today, anyway, we are going to make a dumpling. Yes. So here's a dumpling skin. Uh, yeah, today I'm not going to make it from the scratch. I just part of the dumpling skin. The well, interesting thing is I found the dumpling skin, but they have several different kinds of the dumpling skin. Uh, this is a uh, Shanghai style, which is the skin is very white. The okay. other one I see is a more like a yellow. Uh, it was a uh, Shusen style. Uh, I I it's like more Hong Kong, like one ton. Yeah, used for one tons. Yeah, so I see the two differences. Okay. Maybe from the audience, let me know. Let me you know correct. Maybe they have a several, several different style or something. Okay. So let me know that. So okay, so I'm gonna use this one anyway. Okay. So and another ingredient, this one. Uh, we call it nira in English. I this forgot. Is chives. That's chives. Yeah, yeah chives of the chives. Yeah, the, even yeah, this one they say just only the chive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chop up this one and then uh, chop up the meats and mix with a uh, little bit of gingers and the uh, uh, egg white and then salt and pepper and salt then and the soy sauce and a uh, little bit of meat. Okay. So I'm gonna first mix up all the ingredients. Edge. Okay, I just gonna do a uh, cut into the oil smora. Okay, next step is a uh, lion fish making fillet. So, so I'm gonna take off the all those you know. The, how they call these things? The uh, fins or needle. Fin, yeah. needle. I'm gonna cut off this one first. Yep. With the uh, most of the dangerous part is uh, this, this two, two, three. I'm gonna cut off this one. Like that. This is most dangerous parts. Throw away. And then work with this fish. Actually, you just take off these things, it's more easier. So I'm gonna cut off. Even this thing. Cut off the old parts. With this one too. This one too. Take out the scale of <laughs> first. I'm gonna do a cut off the head, same as like a other feet. Like that. out and the uh, open the stomach taking guts out and cut in the mi middle it's 
We've got a very shallow body, huh? Not much to it. No. Very, very small. Okay, you're up. Okay, then I got a quick wash inside. Okay. Then I'll be right back. The other side. Beautiful the meat here. Yeah, beautiful meat. Now, do you think this is sashimi quality? Mm, no, no. No? Yeah, not, not for sashimi quality. Next one, I, I wanna take off this the rib bone. Okay. And I'm gonna do the next step. I'm gonna take off. In the center, they have another bone. That's it. One, two pieces. I'm going to take out the skin. Take one side, I'm gonna come from the top. Like that. Okay, next step, I'm gonna slice up the meat and I'm gonna chop it up. I'm just cut into the smaller. Anyway, I'm going to chop it up all the way. So. Like that. Chop up the meat. I'm gonna mix it in with the chai. Ginger. And uh, like salt and pepper. Egg white, so no. I'm gonna use only white parts. I'm gonna put here a little bit. I'm gonna add to the little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of meeting. Okay, one down, 399 to go. Oh my god. It's gonna be nightmare.
two, three, four, maybe five is enough. Like that. Okay, I lap up gyoza. Okay, we are ready here. Yeah. So we're gonna do two different way. One for the pan seal, one for the steam. Okay. So first I'm gonna do start with the pan seal though. Dumpling. Fire on for you a little bit. And then put the, the medium heat. I can go with a six piece. Water in there and let the steam take over. Now how long do you wait for here? Huh? Just About uh, you, you can seasoning, you can hear the seasoning, right? Until seasoning all the way going down. Go down and you maybe put some more water. Right, right, right. Okay. Just taking out from the uh, sinks. Oh, looks great here. Okay, here you go. Look at that. <laughs> looks so good. Next one, I'm gonna go to make a steam dumpling. Now I'm gonna use this one. But uh, the only thing is I have to put something on the, on the bottom. Uh, a lot of people are actually using the bamboo leaf or something. But uh, today, unfortunately, I don't have it. So I'm gonna instead the bamboo leaf, I'm gonna use the uh, chai, which I used inside of the dumpling. I'm gonna use again this one in the inside. So what I'm gonna do is just put these things inside. Okay, I'm gonna put the dumpling here. Two, three, probably six is okay. Six, let's go to seven, everything. Go like that. Then, usually I put this one here, then I'm gonna start the quick task. Okay, let's do it here. But, a little bit too tall. Should be okay. Okay, testing parts. Testing part early yes. because this one is being yeah, steamed. Yeah, we are still doing the steaming, so okay, let's go to try this one. Hmm. 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 Look. Look inside. Wow. That looks great. It's good. How's the taste? How's the seasoning? Mm. I just the seasoning is okay. You feel any a little too salty? No. Mm. Eh? This is just uh, the way I'm mm -hmm. going to taste over the uh, lion fish. So. Mm, very good. Very, very good. <coughs> Mm. <laughs> Look at that juice. <laughs> mm. The lionfish itself, like any typical, it tastes like snapper. Mm. Even when it was raw, it, it reminded me of snapper, you know? Mm. Very light eating white fish. Mm. I love the chai. What I really enjoy is this. How the ginger? The ginger is good, yeah. Mm. What I really enjoy is the skin. Mm. A little crunchy. Tastes great. And some people say, oh, you guys didn't make your own skin. Sometimes you don't have time to do all that, you know? Doing dumplings from scratch already takes a lot of time. But um, excellent oh. here. Very, very good. Can't wait to try these. The steam is ready. I'm gonna take it out these things. Oh. Like that. So let's open up. -da -da. Wow. Yeah, the 
interesting. Nice. For eight minutes, huh? You've seen before. Eight minutes, I did. Okay, here, son. You ready for a tasting? Sure, sure, sure. Let's do it. Let's go. That one is good. Yeah, because they're nice and thin too, mm. kind of flat. That's mm. great, Harold. Yeah. This one's good? Mm -hmm. I'm going to break it open, maybe. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> no, not getting worse. You, you want to cut into half? Yeah. What's great, right, guys? Ooh. There's a little panzu, a little hot chili oil. Mm. So the different texture mm -hmm. between the uh, uh, panzu. I think I like this more. I don't yeah, know about you. Like this way? Yeah, I don't know why. I, I, I like to, I like to steam something. Too. Yeah, the steam is really good. Enjoy this one a little bit more. Yeah, it's through the skin. Uh, the meat's, to me, it's more tender because of the steaming mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. That's probably why. A little more mm -hmm. softer. Lionfish dumplings, so good, Harold. Mm. Really enjoyed it. Now, if you guys can find the same things that we have, try to make it at home. Very, very simple. Harold, thank you so much. Yep. We'll see thank you, you soon. Much. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you all very, very mm -hmm. soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.